Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by today. Today we're going to be making an adorable little sleeping baby badger. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm rolling up some core wool, uh, which is very soft, and I'm just rolling that up for my little badger's body. And I'm sort of tapering in towards the top. And you just want to needle felt that all over. I'm just checking that against my stencil and I need to add a little bit more core wall around the bottom area just to build that up a bit. Just wrap that tightly around. I'm mainly using two needles. This is a fine gauge. It's up to you what you prefer to use. You can try the 36 gauge, which is a thicker gauge needle, or you can stick with the finer needle. Melted that for a couple of minutes, you can move on to making the head. And for that, um, you just want to take a pipe cleaner and bend the very tip over, pinch together. And then we're going to wrap the end of the pipe cleaner with a thin strip of your core wool. So just going around the very tip and then building up the top area here for the head. So adding more core wool here to the top section. So I've got some more building up to do around the top of the head and a bit more around the snout area. I'm just going to add some more. And now just building up the nose. Area I'm really happy with. I'm going to build up the top of the head section now. And to do that, rather than wrapping more wool all the way around, which would just um, make all the head a bit too big, I'm going to just put some core wool over the top of the head section, like that, and needle felt that on. Now I'm going to needle felt a bit more wool to fill in this area here. Just want to lay that across and... So keeping the snout, the end of the snout nice and thin, it's literally just this little dip here you want to fill in. Check the shape of your head, so it slopes down on the front and then tapers in on the sides. And then you can cut off the excess pipe cleaner. Okay, now we're going to needle felt some white carded wool on top of our core wool. So remember the size um, that I've done is actually the size that I want my core wool to be. We're going to needle felt on our top coat of white. And you just want to thin it out and smooth it on and then needle felt that into place. So 
once you've needle felted the white on, just spend a minute or two just redefining the head shape. And for the stripe pattern detail on our badger's head, rather than using um, straight black wool, I'm going to blend some dark brown and dark grey wool together. Just gives a bit more of a natural look to the fur. I want the end of my badger's nose to be a bit pinky. Um, so I'm needle felting a little bit of light pink cardi wool all over the end of the snout area. Now I want to needle felt on the stripe detail onto the face. So I'm looking from above and I want around um, a centimetre gap blaze down the front. So I'm going to leave that centimetre there white and you just want to needle felt straight down and I'm going to stop not going onto the end of the snout so I'm going to stop at half centimetre before follow the angle of the head and it gets thinner to a point closer to the nose and just needle felt the rest on straight up onto the head. You can always add a bit more if you need to. And then leaving that centimetre gap of white, just needle felt the other stripe on, straight down. And the very end, once that's in position, I'm going to drag the very ends just sort of round a little bit just to help shape the nose. And then where the eyes are going to be, um, I want this white area to be a little bit wider. Some of my dark brown and dark grey carded wool and I'm going to add that to the underside the tummy area just needle felt that on you can use whatever needles you prefer So as you can see here, I haven't gone too far up onto the sides of the body. I've literally just needle felted the dark brown all over the top of this tummy area. Okay, now I'm going to needle felt my grey top coat wool all over my badger's back. And slightly over some of the brown on the sides. So once that's all covered, um, you just want to bend your badger's body shape like this, so it's sort of like a into a kidney bean shape, and needle felt straight through the centre, and that will help keep your badger's body in a sleepy, sort of curled up position. For my badger's nose, I'm just using some plain black, all black carded wool, and just needle felt that a few times and then you want to roll it in between your fingers. And then position it to the sort of the top area of the snout, so leaving enough room for the mouth.
and then you can just needle felt to shape. And then for the mouth, I'm teasing out some dark brown carded wool into a very thin strip. And I like to do one side of the mouth first. So find the center point and then drag and tuck that in. take a bit more and then use the tip of that end to create the rest of the mouth. And for a bit more realism at the corner of the mouth, just to create the chin, just needle felt that up a bit like this. So now I want to attach the head to the body and I'm going to attach around um, halfway down the neck area is just below halfway down the back of the head. You can pin that into place um, if it makes it easier before you felt and then you just want a needle felt right in to the back felting through all the fibres going right into the back of the head. Okay, then we're going to felt some of our dark brown wool up under the neck. This is for extra hold underneath the head. to take some more of our grey wool and needle felt that to fill in the gap and it's going to fill in the gap and attach to both the head and the body. So just go all the way around the back of the head like this and into the body. And go right to the sides. Okay, now let's make the ears. So for that we just want some white carded wool and measure it out roughly the same. And then you want to use your needle to carefully felt and drag the wall to get it into the right sort of shape. So just round off the tops and use your fingers as well. Just round them off. Smooth the wall. Okay, then you can add a little bit of your dark brown or dark grey wall into the middle of the ears, just a little bit. And now we can just needle felt those into place. So you want to position them at the back of each um, stripe and just needle felt the excess fibre straight on to the back. Position the other one. And then I'm going 
going to add a bit of white wool just in between the ears, going slightly onto the forehead just to neaten this area. Also adding a little bit more grey over this white section of the ears um, adds extra security as well. Now I like to add a little bit of white uh, cardi wool just to cover this side of the face, the join here and going slightly onto the body, they have this sort of stripe that goes onto the body. It is optional but I like to put a little bit more dark brown just behind each ear. For the legs I'm using pure black um, carded wool so that they stand out a little bit more from the tummy area and you just want to take a strip and just fold it and needle felt all over. You might prefer to use your 36 gauge needle for this. Felted that down, you want to roll it in between the palms of your hands. It's really important that you roll um, to get the fibres to smooth and compact down. So we need a felt again. And then roll again. You just want to repeat this process as much as you as you need to until you're happy with the leg shape. You want to flatten down in between your fingers and just check and that's fine. Um, if you find your legs are too thin you can just wrap a bit more carded wool around, needle felt it on and then repeat the process of rolling until you get the thickness that you're happy with. So I'll just show you on this, see this end here goes a bit thinner. So all you want to do is just wrap some wool around, needle felt it on, and shape the foot area, and then re-roll it, and I'm going to cut those paws to length. So I'm going to make the back legs the same way. Roll and felt. You've made your legs a bit too thick, you can just pull lengthways like this and it will thin them out. Now I'm going to cut the back legs to length then bend them in half the needle felt through the bend both sides and then that will keep the bend in place and you have your badger's back feet now I'm going to needle felt on the little Paw pad detail, so just tiny little circles using some pink wool. And trim the fuzz from the top side. And 
For the back feet, I'm adding an extra little circle pad detail. Right, so now let's attach the arms and you just want to position them on so, so they're about halfway onto the side of the body and then just use your needle and felt straight through to anchor them on. Then once they're anchored in place, just needle felt a bit more of your grey wool vertically over like that. I'll swap to my thicker gauge needle. I'm going to add a bit more of the grey wool vertically, like this. Okay, now let's line up our other arm. So I'm looking from above to get them the right length. like the feet pointing inwards a bit um, or you can have them pointing out or however you want so just again felt about halfway onto the body Now position on the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to make the little tail. I just needle felt some of the grey wool. And then I'm just going to needle felt that into place. And the last thing I'm going to do now is just tease out some light grey wool and make his little sleeping eye detail. Um, you can sew in a couple of stitches if you prefer or you can just needle felt them on you just want to do one you can just do one line like that or you can do the top eyelid as well as if they're closed together and then just trim It's a bit fiddly this bit, this is probably the most fiddliest part. Okay, so just going to line that up. And there you go. And as another option, you could just sew in some little bead eyes if you want him to be awake instead of sleeping.
And the very last thing I like to do is give my little badges a trim all over using a sharp pair of scissors. So that's our little baby badges all finished. Thanks so much again for stopping by guys. Don't forget that I have sewing patterns and needle fighting patterns and kits available over in my Etsy shop. That's the Wishing Shed over on Etsy. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing, and we'll see you back here soon.